Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be talking about a horror slasher movie called T Terror and Terror, excuse me. Terror and Terror. And um, it's one of those rock and roll horror movies. If you like something like October Blood, for example, maybe you might like this one too. Um, you got these guys in clown makeup performing in a band, pretty obvious, Kiss Rip Off. But I do like the soundtrack for this movie, this old, the 80s style rock, man, come on, old school, pre-old school rock. Um, I, I, I don't want to give away who the killer is, even though, even though it's pretty obvious because you could tell from the makeup and compare it to the actor's face, it's a... I mean, right off the bat, you already know you already gonna know who the killer is. I just don't want to say it here, you know. So you get this band touring, and, like performing two shows, and you got this mysterious killer with the same outfit as the band does, going around killing beautiful women. The women in this movie are, are fucking hot, though. So these women are dying, and you got this cop investigating the case, wondering to know who the killer is. Investigation the band. And pretty much he's going undercover around one of the tour and um, having the undercover officers watching the one of, one of the musical performance of the show. She's trying to see if they catch the killer, even sending an undercover hole to <laughs> trying to see if she could get to find out who the killer is. And, and you know, it, mainly the movie is just like music and partying and these guys having sex with these women. And it's pretty much like I said that you have some moments, you have moments with the killer killing these women. With a simple knife stabbing scene, and then, and then, and, I mean, one of the guys you might think he's the killer, but like I said, when you see the killer killing his victim, you're gonna look at the face of the makeup, and you know it's not like the wimpy guy, for example, who's the real killer. It's like pretty obvious, but it, the movie what it makes you think it is that wimpy guy, but it's pretty obvious we know it's not the fucking wimpy guy, because the wimpy guy is fucking fat. All right, he's fat. Fuck it. So I, I just, how you gonna get away with that? What kind of, I mean, come on, is that the best you could do? But I'm not saying the movie is bad or nothing. It was an enjoyable slasher. Um, it was decent. It's not the greatest, or it's not the best of the rock slasher genre, I would say. But it was enjoyable, though. Um, tell it to, um, give it a chance, and even though it was predictable, but, you know, it's kind of like old school, so, you know, you can't be disappointed in old school horror, you know. Anyway, peace, guys. See you later.